It's 4.40 a.m. in the morning. Um, so it, it is like 39 degrees at the moment. And it's supposed to get all the way down to, um, 34. So, um, my fingers are cold. My toes started to freeze. I have three pairs of socks on. I mean, I know it can get this at around 39, 40 degrees in Pensacola, but we're here in Cincinnati, you know, um, so it wouldn't be so bad if it weren't fucking cold. That's the thing. So, um, now I only saw one perp. Of course, he was wearing a red. Nobody else was where I was at. And I'm wondering, well, how did that perp find out where I was and come following me? So, um, I'm freezing cold with nowhere to use the bathroom. And, uh, I'm surprised that I got any sleep in this cold. And, um, I don't know how much sleep I got, but I think I got, um, I don't know how much sleep I got. Um, but I have, I have to move around and walk around in order to warm up a little bit. Um, it felt like my toes are starting to defrost. Now, like, this is scary because I feel traumatized and scared being forced down here and I'm freezing to death and, um, people don't care. Um, And see, that truck got to be a perp. That loud-ass red truck. <clears throat> oh, it's fucking cold. <sighs> Shucks. It's freaking cold. So, I'm this cold in Cincinnati, you know, this is considered normal weather for some place like Cincinnati, but it can, it's considered inclement weather in a place like Pensacola, Florida, or my hometown, New Orleans, you know, so, um, I mean, I'm showing y'all proof that I'm on the streets for the night. So I'm sleep deprived and feeling heavy pressure on my heart. My toes were freezing and they're trying to feel like they're trying to defrost a little bit now that I'm walking. <coughs> I had to pee really bad. <coughs> and so, um, <coughs> it's really scary, you know, um, so today is, what, Wednesday? So I'm hoping that at least, I mean, they said it was going to take a couple of days. So I hope I can get a job opportunity. Um, but yeah, real targeted individuals, if you got to be forced homeless, they'll tell you stay out of the mental hospital. Stay out of the homeless shelter. Stay out of the shelter, stay out the mental hospital. You know? Because that's where they can easily traffic you and kill you or whatever in a mental hospital and get away with it. So I really think that um, the homeless shelters, the homeless shelters are set up in a trap to get you locked up in a mental institution. Because um, the first thing they want is for you to be medicated. They want you to be medicated. So, um, dang.
first thing they want is for you to be medicated so that they can swoop in and take advantage because they know that when your mind and your senses is um dull you know it, like they say um all the medication is um fluoridated hold on Ooh. The, the medication is mainly full of fluoride, the bad fluoride, because, um, like they did the Jews in the Holocaust, make you docile and easier to control, and it's um, po rat poison. So, um, psychiatric medications is rat poison. So, um, you know, of course, they want you medicated and compliant, but if you, um, you'll be like the, having Jumpita mania, being a runaway slave, if you're not compliant, you know. So, um, ooh. So, yeah, like, I think tomorrow is supposed to rain again. Like, not Wednesday, but Thursday is supposed to rain again. It's supposed to be nice, like 63, and then it's supposed to rain and then it's supposed to get down to 22 degrees, like, all weekend long. Like, I'm sorry, 20-something uh, degrees. 22 degrees one night. And, like, how, how, I mean, if people don't want to help me, then I can't go to the shelters. Shelters be full, or they be lying and saying that the shelters are full. So, um, they'll lie and say that the shelter is full or act like they don't want me there. And then if I'm persistent with getting in there and I finally get in there and then they mob me out of the, you know, they mob me out of the shelters and make, you know, or they set up a scenario where the police got to get called. So, um, ooh, I can't, it's difficult trying to survive in this cold and I hardly have much of any money, you know, a little bit of money I have. So, um, so, oh man, I got to get warm. So, I mean, I'm surprised that I was able to get a small amount of sleep. Um, so the fact that it's so cold, I got to go now and I'll see y'all.